what's up everyone? I hope you guys enjoy that little uh, zero slash negative one RIR Smith squat session there. Uh, that was a crazy workout. That was actually in the last week at home of training. But as you can see here, we are at the SLU rec. So this is actually uh, gonna be some of the footage that I'm showing you for today. Um, some of it's from the SLU rec and then also some of it is from my last week of training at home where obviously I was training super hard, you know, shown in that Smith squat video. Uh, you know, just because Shay was spotting me there, I didn't have any worries. I was just like, fuck it, dude, I'm gonna go for another rep. Although my rep before that last one was definitely zero RAR, but it's whatever, you know, getting those hard sessions in when I can. Uh, here what you're seeing is some bent rows, obviously. Um, I've been doing this with a belt, really been liking doing it with a belt, honestly. It takes a little bit of the stress off of my spinal erectors, especially considering that I'm doing uh, conventional deadlifts now and also stiff leg deadlifts in my program. Um, really trying to grow the back this mesocycle, of course. So I'm trying to actually include bent rows twice throughout the week. So this is my lighter variant in the week. I also have a heavier one where I do the four to eight rep range. Uh, this, these, set, these sets that you're seeing here are in the five to 10 rep range. So the four to eights, you know, slightly heavier. I'll probably be doing maybe 10 pounds more or possibly like 10% more. I don't really know. I guess we'll see when the time comes, but I kind of started this uh, mesocycle at the, basically like the halfway mark throughout the week. I'm taking my rest days on Thursdays now and I'm training six days a week, of course. Uh, you know, basically just Friday through Wednesday and I'm doing back three days per week. One of the days will be a weighted pull-up day. As you can see here, we have weighted pull-ups. Been really enjoying this movement as well. I just think this is one of the movements that people should be doing if they're trying to get a bigger back because it just loads the lats and the, the whole back in such a way that just, I don't know. There's just something special about doing these like heavy movements like weighted pull-ups, bent rows, super heavy shit for the back because I just feel like you just get more out of it in comparison to doing some sort of like super externally stabilized movement, like let's say lat pull downs, for example, nothing against lat pull downs, I absolutely love them, I'm doing them in the mesocycle, but I feel like you need to include some like heavy and hard stuff to get some really good gains. Um, whether that be for leg training, chest training, back training, whatever it is, uh, heavy training is definitely an important thing to be doing. Um, and so anyways, I'm doing back three days per week. I have two horizontal dominant days and then one vertical dominant day. So this is the one horizontal movement of this vertical dominant day. As you can tell, I have the weighted pull-ups at the start. I also ha had some heavier uh, lat pull-downs that I didn't show, but this is a just CD cable row. As you can see, I'm getting a really full range of motion on this. Absolutely love this movement. Uh, I just really, really feel it in my lats super well, especially if I like stop a little bit um, sooner with the actual contraction, like if I kind of lean a little bit more forward, this is something I actually learned from uh, Sam Okanola today. I trained with him uh, back and biceps, which was really fun. That was our first session here in St. Louis now that I'm back. Um, really feels good to be back in St. Louis, honestly. I really feel like I'm getting in the zone for uh, massing. I've not had any problems with massing yet. Like I've been enjoying the food so much and I've making a lot of progress in the gym, which is huge, uh, super exciting stuff. Here's just some Kelso shrugs. This is a movement that obviously targets the rhomboids, the rear delts, a lot of the upper back musculature. And I feel like if you're not including movement like this, or let's say chest supported dumbbell row, you're really missing out because there's not a lot of other movements that train those muscle groups very well. Of course, like the bent row trains them decently well, but it doesn't get them through as full of a range of motion or deep stretch. Like this is the movement that can just really get a super deep stretch on a lot of those upper back muscles, which I think is super important for gains. Um, I just skipped forward a little bit there. This is just the last rep, uh, but really been enjoying this movement. Gonna be keeping it in for a long time. Um, absolutely, absolutely loving it. So next movement here we have is some lat pull downs. So I was talking trash on it earlier, but I do enjoy this movement a lot. I've been doing it with uh, just the straight bar. As you can tell, I'm not using the, uh, the outside part of the uh, lat pull down attachment. Instead, I'm just using the inside part where it's just straight. And I've been really enjoying doing it this way. Um, I do have one day where I do it a little bit less range of motion. So I just go to my chin on one of the days. So I'm able to load it a little bit heavier. And then this is just my full range of motion day. So I'm kind of playing a little bit around with um, a little bit less range of motion on some movements 
not all and definitely not most most movements are full range of motion but i am playing around with some other things especially on the muscle groups that i'm prioritizing so with back might as well include some crazy stuff um, while i'm prioritizing it so here's just some cable upright row has been really really enjoying this movement i've been doing it now for like six months or something like that uh, and it just feels so great for me. I get such a great side delt pump and I never have any problems with it. For some reason, a lot of people think that doing upright rows in general is a really dangerous movement. Um, it can be if you have really shitty form and you're using too much weight, but honestly, um, in most cases, it's a pretty good movement, especially if you form down. Um, and I think that I do. So that's a positive. This video was actually recorded by a waste, um, the tiny boy on Instagram. Of course, you guys know him. Um, he made some sick videos for me in the past. Ho hopefully we'll make another, uh, you know, little edit video like we did, uh, freshman year and sophomore year. I think we only did one video per year or something like that. So at least we'll get one in this year, at least double thumbs up for that. Um, here's just some random flexing footage. I thought I'd include this at the rest of the, at the end of the video, uh, just because this pose, I honestly kind of suck. Well, overall, I kind of suck with posing. But I definitely want to get better at it because obviously I want to do a show in the future. Um, it is funny though. I feel like in these um, videos, it seems like my legs are a little bit lagging behind and my upper body is kind of ahead. But then when I'm wearing clothes, I feel like it's the absolute opposite. Like I really need to get bigger arms. I feel like that's my main thing that I need to do. Um, but yeah, I, I, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did. Uh, please subscribe, leave a like, do whatever else you want. I really appreciate it, guys, and I hope you all have a great rest of your night, and I will catch you in the next video. Peace.